Hey guys, it's me, Hellhound, and, and I Dark got, Wolf. Uh, yeah, I got Dark Wolf with me. You might remember uh, a while ago, I made a video featuring my good buddy Dark Wolf. We talked about the big four slasher villains, you know, Jason, Michael, uh, Freddy, and Leatherface, and uh, we've been meaning to do another video for a long time, um, and we finally got together today. Um, <clears throat> this guy's the real deal, by the way, if you don't remember me seeing the last Thank video. You. He's got all, you are. Yeah, he's got all the good memorabilia, all the autographs, a huge horror fan like me, huge comic book fan. Both of us have been really into comic books lately. Uh, as I talked about in my last video. But today, we're going to talk about... Hey, I just came back from the video store. Here's the movies I rented. All right. All don't right. Don't forget to rewind. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. we don't want to pay that fee with the rewinding. Oh, rewinding. no. Oh, Arrows. You went by oh, Arrows went to today. Arrows Video oh, wow. Club. Yeah. Nice. What else do we get? Let's the video world, too. Ooh, Evil oh. Dead. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Nice. From Beyond. Oh, oh good one. Oh, yeah. From Beyond. Oh, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Red Rabbit Video, it's oh, yeah. Red Ra Oh, that's a good place. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Friday 13th, Part 5. Oh, God, yeah. Didn't we speak about this last We did, time? we yes, did. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> All right. If only. We wish. Yeah, unfortunately. We wish that we just went to a video store. Yeah, it's not the 80s. Uh, or the, the 90s, 90s, for that matter. Or even the early 2000s. But those are mostly DVDs by that point, so who cares? We miss video stores. I prefer VHSs. Well, yeah, they're more fun. Uh, I mean, I like DVD better overall. It's more convenient. But VHSs were, like, more nostalgic. And, like, for video stores, I'd rather see a video store full of VHSs. Like, oh, go. that's very exciting. The yeah. few times we do find one closing out or anything. Oh, yeah, man. That's oh, very oh, nice gosh. seeing them. Sad is closing. I know. I hate that. There's actually somebody one. somebody should have them, it should be us. I agree. There actually or is one years. left in my town. Um, but they don't really have much. It's nice that they do have a video rental store, technically. But... Um, I'm glad it's there. I hope it never shuts down, but it's really not the same, of course. We had a one called Video World, which eventually became Movie Gallery. Their horror section, I kid you not, was basically my equivalent of heaven. So many great memories there. So many horror movies I saw for the first time. It was wonderful. And uh, for those of you out there who, like, never really experienced video stores, uh, and, like, I, I feel really bad for you, because it was just such a neat memory, such an adventure. Uh... And if you go to Redbox, which is a vending machine for like 10 movies, and they're all brand new. Redbox is horrible. It's not the I don't know same how anyone could at all. It. No. Um, I can understand Netflix because, like, if we're not going to have video stores, at least we have something. It's more convenient. It's cheaper. They have all those movies that, the, you know, your fingertip that push the button, but nothing will ever compare to the, the feeling I got, the feeling we got when we explore video stores. He actually worked at one, too, back yes. in the day. That might have been where we first met. Um, yeah, it's actually We just don't true. remember. Uh, he worked at one. I wanted to work there, um, but lots of great memories there, nonetheless. I actually worked at a comic book store, so I got to live out that, oh, that dream. Is nice too. But he could say we're at a video store. So between both of us, we got to do one of the things we really wanted to do. Yes, we have. Yeah. I, it's just something about the video stores. It was just so much better. And I know a lot of you out there probably have Netflix, and. And I can see where, since we do not have video stores, I can see where some people might enjoy that. It is convenient, but if I could have it where, if I could choose, I would bring, <coughs> I'd bring the video stores back. Video and stores I think a lot of you every guys time. too. Oh, there's a lot of people I know that grew up with it. Oh, yeah. It made me oh, sick. Oh, gosh. Yeah. It was, and, oh, my gosh. But, but Redbox, that is an abomination. I'm sorry. I don't yeah, know how anybody could like yeah. it. Oh, God, no. Is that why they have the curtain over there, there the window uh, thing to see that CVR? I mean. See, for a while they had Blockbuster vending machines, and I was happy about that because at least it was Blockbuster. At least it's one of the ones from my childhood. Yeah, there you go. Redbox or holding something like this. Mm, here, gee. I feel like it's soulless now, especially people who download movies. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't take offense to this, but screw you. It's partly your fault that video stores went out of business. Um, I know it's I know it's free. It's convenient. I can understand that somewhat, but, title, but yeah, if it's something you couldn't find, I can understand. But if you just went and download a bunch of movies, have some file on your computer, that's soulless, man. I want to go to a store and hold a physical product in my yeah. hand. Exactly. Same thing with downloading music. I want to go buy the CDs. I don't want to just have some file. Like this is like one song that you know I don't care about the rest of the band's material. Mm -hmm. But then going to the video stores, especially in the day, and uh, in a long time, it was VHSs. Like yes. The artwork, everything. Going into oh, the car VHS section, is especially. The best artwork. Or even the comedy, any of them. The artwork was just so much yeah. better. And nope. looking at the box and knowing, wow, I'm going to get this. Or even if you're not even old enough to rent it and somehow get to anyway, just exciting where they let you slip one by them. You know, bringing that home, thinking, wow, what am I going to watch oh, here? Yeah. Like, 
and have to put it in the rewinder. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. All the first, all the first time I saw the fried turkeys, of course, was a VHS I rented from the store. I rented like a big bunch of them at a time. I was watching them back to back. It was oh my gosh, magical. I can't think of anything that compares to that. I mean, it just it's, it was just wonderful. And like, you might think I'm like over exaggerating or whatever, but I'm really not. It was just neat. It was just so cool. My mom would go grocery shopping. She would drop me off the video store. I'd stay there for hours, even if I didn't rent anything. I would just be looking at the boxes, oh, yeah. reading the back. I'd look up. I'd look at basket case. Say, man, I wish I could. Yeah. I can't wait to watch this. And now, of course, of course, now I own all those movies on DVD. I could probably make my own video store if I wanted it's to. Something about it. It's not, it's not the same. There's just something it's about something it. Yeah. Right? There's just it's something about it. Like, oh my gosh, like. And no, it's not word. just nostalgia. It's not just, it's not that just word, nostalgia. Yeah, I mean, I mean that has that something to do with it. it. Yes, it yeah. is part of it, but it's not the whole. Of it. But yeah, there was all oh, there's video tracks and video world blockbuster, of course, Hollywood Video, Video Quest. Um, there's actually a place uh, called Scarecrow's Video. Where's that? At Washington State. Washington State. And it's much like all those old ones. And around so. where we are, LA Video and Tan. This is yeah, not the same. That's, right. that's the only one we have now. It's yeah, and it's weird. Thing. It's well, it's cool. They had a good idea. They put a tanning salon along with it, so that they did make money to keep themselves in business. So Cheap I kind of wish the other ones had done of that. All brand names that aren't even any good new yeah. stuff. But I'm yeah, still glad it exists. Yeah, I'm still at glad it's there. there. At least we can the only, say there's a video rental. The one time store. I do like going there is sometimes I'll have a closeout of another store and I have a bunch of VHSs. And guess who grabs them? Yeah, up? they had and a yes, whole bunch do. of VHSs for sale there one day. We went. It was breathtaking. It was it was it's, almost like that feeling I got back in the day when I first went in Video World and saw their wonderful horror section. Oh yeah. Um, there's also a place called Video Vault. If you've ever heard of it. They had literally every movie you could think of. I mean, the most obscure stuff. Uh, Please Don't Eat My Mother, Worm <laughs> Eaters, Gator Bait. Like, the weirdest, like, even weirder stuff than that. Like, every movie I could think of, they had. It was the first time I ever saw yes. Son of the Blob, a.k.a. Beware of the Blob, from 1972, and Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, a.k.a. Godzilla vs. Hedora. I couldn't find them anywhere else. And that was the first time I saw those two movies. They were very obscure at the time. I know now everything's available on DVD, but, like... That place, unfortunately, went out of business a few years ago. He and I never got to go at the same time, which is one of my biggest regrets. I really would have loved to have taken him there. He would have loved it. Um, we would have had a great time. I wish I uh, yeah, could have taken some pictures. Um, look it up. Um, after you watch this video, if you're a fan of that type of thing, look it up, video vaults and pictures of it. Mm -hmm. And if you know of any video rental stores that you grew up with or, um, or you know, had a lot of things out, feel free to talk about them in the comments below. And just today, actually, we went to a, we went to a place where I used to go as a kid and into my, into my early uh, early 20s, um, it was like as him. Like we went to a place in our, in where we are now that actually, we have two locations today that used to be real nice big video stores. All yeah. kinds of movies. I remember, yeah, in this town yes. that we're in now, um, uh, we actually live like 15 minutes from each other. There used to be roommates yeah. in the same town, but he uh, moved to the next town over. We yeah, still hang out a lot. Yeah. But I remember this town, there was like, a lot of video stores at the time, and uh, oh, it was so wow. neat coming up here and being at video stores that I didn't normally go to. Uh, I was just like, wow! I always love discovering new video stores, going to new towns. I would go stay with my aunt, mm -hmm. um, and there's video stores in her town that I never yes. seen. It was, just, it was just like an adventure. It's like what kind well, of the video old posters stores? they had up? Yeah. For instance, like there's one of Ghoulies in the background. Oh yeah! I remember actually seeing that poster up, and let me tell you where at a video store. And I'll tell you where it was. <laughs> I hate saying that. It was at a drug fair. In, in this oh, drug fair, they wow. actually had movies, as well as 7-Elevens back then. They had a lot of movies back in the 80s, for instance. And at drug fair, they actually had that poster of Ghoulies. Wow. Tracked it down, and here it is. No, it's not the actual they one. They didn't put that poster on a damn they, DVD. They have it on yes, Blu-ray, the, the double box. feature. But. The, movie, the movie's okay. And I it's used pretty to have, entertaining, but the poster oh, yeah, posters. I used to have a Betamax version of Ghoulies a long time ago. Um, it was just an empty case. And unfortunately, I didn't have the little tape or whatever you would call it, beta inside, but it was a pretty cool thing to have. I don't know what happened. I guess I, guess I lost it in my movie, but it was a pretty cool thing to have. Yes, it is. Oh, what, you still have it? <laughs> I'm looking for. I have a Betamax tape. Of, oh uh, yeah, Star Trek, Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Now My I'm, favorite is Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan. But you can't go wrong with either. Here one. it is. I almost had a search for this. The search for Spock. Here it is. You had, to, you had to search yeah. for yeah, the search yeah, for Spock. That's what they call it. Though. <laughs> yes, I actually saw all of this before. Look at that. It's the one Betamax tape uh, I have. That. That's but a Betamax. I want to get more. I want to get more. Kids at home, you may have never seen a Betamax. Now, I'll or be a laser honest. Disc. I'll be honest with you. 
the reason why this did not make it, it wasn't because of the quality. It's because they cannot fit enough on the tape. That too. They and cannot plus, fit enough. Another and reason, weirdly enough, was adult videos. Adult movies had they a contract with yeah. VHS, mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of people like to have rented those films back then, it especially compete. in the big cities. It couldn't compete. It's just like uh, when Blu-ray ca first came out. Some of you might remember HD DVD, a very very uh, short-lived. Uh, didn't last very long. Um, that was one of the Blu-ray's competitors. Every once in a while, you may still see one of those in the stores, but it died out pretty quickly. Those didn't last long at all. But yeah, I don't want to talk about Blu-ray. This is a fucking video store video. Dude, <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm blocking it all exactly. out. Exactly. What's that? Exactly. Uh, unfortunately, I do. Well, the only good thing about Blu-ray is it a lot, a lot of, of times, material on it. I'll yeah, and a lot that. of times they that. have the original VHS artwork on the Blu-rays. The artwork uh, has its crew. Cool. And I guess the picture's better, too. Blah, blah, blah. But, but I don't want to praise them up anymore. I'll save ten bucks and just get the DVD. I know a lot of people prior watching this saying, why would you do that? But hey, man, yeah. that's the way I It's their own. Yeah, uh, but I know there's a whole lot of you guys that are VHS and video store lovers. Even if it's not VHS and you love DVD, that's fine. I consider, I have a lot of DVDs myself, even yeah. though I actually get more excited seeing a VHS somewhere. But I consider them mini laser disc. That's what it is. DVDs, they basically Laser are, discs really. were ahead of their time. They, they were out in the are. 80s, for instance, yeah. my favorite decade, and his as well. But the thing about it, of they course. were basically miniature lasers. It's discs. basically what it is, really. I got really. that. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, when DVD first came out, I was totally against that. I had hundreds of VHSs. Yes, yes, yes. I was completely against it. Then I learned you didn't have to rewind it. You could skip to wherever you want. It had all awesome special features, way better picture soundtrack. Yes. And, you know, I switched to DVD. Unfortunately, features. when I moved into a different house, all my VHSs were in a box in the basement. It flooded. Mm. They all got destroyed. <laughs> Luckily, the insurance, I was able to rebuy most of those <clears throat> on DVD. But, having said that, there's always going to be, like, this feeling I get about VHS. Yeah. There's always this magical feeling. It may not be as very, more con as convenient. It may not be as better picture. But there's just something about VHS. It's just it was the first format I w you know I was ever familiar with. You know, growing up, I had so many of them. I wish I could show you guys in a video, but unfortunately, they don't. They're no longer around. I still have a few from then. I collected a few of the years too, despite not having a VCR at the moment since my yeah. last one had crapped out on me. And I'll keep this short, <laughs> but I can remember one of my few memories I do remember from back then. I remember my first day walking in a video store, which I ended up working at, by the way, one day. It was back in the mid-80s, and I, I saw posters of Rambo 2 First Blood, wow. first star-rated film I've seen, and I, <laughs> at the theater, and uh, I saw posters of the Goonies, Ghoulies, obviously, Spookies, for instance, Ooh, good poster, very underrated. that I have here. Bright Nights. Spookies, in case you're wondering. Bright Nights. Right there. Oh, there's a bunch of VHSs, too. Oh, you guys yeah. can see. Oh, yes. And Virginia Madsen, Jennifer Connelly, and Tracy Lords, who played in a lot of VHSs. Yeah, Dark Wolf's oh. Room is pretty cool, isn't it, kids? Yeah. <laughs> this is, oh, by the way, there's nothing in my film that is after 1989. 70s and 80s, and a little bit. I like the 90s a lot, too. So do I. Um, of course, the 80s is my favorite decade. I was born in the 80s, and I never really left. I've lived in the 80s pretty much my whole life. But I really love the 70s and the 90s as well. Yes. The 90s is very nostalgic for me. Nothing against um, the 90s at all. Oh, yeah. They oh, were I understand a wonderful completely. decade as well. well most definitely. But, um, Except for the change. The one thing I hate <laughs> about VHS is... Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> anyway, nothing uh, I hated when uh, VCR would eat the tape. Uh, at VHS. I that always part, hated that when that I was a kid. Couldn't stand sucked. that. That sucked big time. It's sometimes rewinding them. You know, if you remember, you had a silver machine that would... Uh, it was a machine to rewind videotapes, you know. Um, I'm sure some of you out there had one of those. It's just... And these kids growing up these days will never know what that was like, you know. And I know yeah. you're... I got charged a dollar for not rewinding. Yeah, I remember. You had to charge people a dollar when you worked there. Yeah, probably. and I got a lot of people you know? looking on them when I said, Hey, you forgot to rewind your DVD. How many? I oh, yeah. every time. I'm sure was all kinds of things our parents said. Like, yo, you youngsters didn't understand like there was back in our day. But, like... I feel bad for the kids these days. I'll never know what it's like to go to a video store, look at the box, how see, and read the the back of it. Like, what do you even do to watch movies now? Yeah. You have to buy them if they come out. What if you don't like it? Or I guess get them from Red Box, or Devil Box. Like okay, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and bash <laughs> Netflix. I I would rather have the video stores and never have Netflix. But I can understand. But like I say, Red Box. Netflix is a oh, welcome Lord. alternative. Since we can't Lord have video like stores, Redbox. it's a welcome... Oh, I, I would never support Redbox. Uh, Netflix I actually do like. I think it's convenient. I think it's a good... 
It's definitely a good thing to have. It's okay, I will say this. If you're one of them people that is, I only want new movies. Red Box is for you. That's for you. If you're very That's shallow. Well, yeah, that is for people like If you're that. shallow, if your favorite bands are Green Day and Nickelback <laughs> and the Foo Fighters, it's Sublime, Red Box is for you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to <laughs> Or the newest thing on the radio. Yeah. You keep it off the yeah, if you like hip hop and all the pop music, Nicki like Minaj, uh, Katy Perry, all that stupid <laughs> shit, then... Uh, red boxes for you. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I just, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't think most people like them would probably watch this. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you're probably sitting there going, "Yeah, I agree with you guys. Yeah, you guys are yeah, cool." Definitely. You know what you're talking about. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. But hey, you know, I, I had just so many times. I, I mean, I, I did see Back to the Future, but I knew it probably isn't probable. I wish I could go back in a time warp and just oh, go into these freaking stores. Oh, I'm sure choir, a lot of man. you guys do too. I oh, would yeah. love to. Oh, just one more time. One more time. Just one more time. So I ask. I wish somebody could have like a a video, like of a whole walkthrough of a video store. Yeah. If you know of any, please post in the comments below. Please I would love do. to see that. It'd be Besides a Scarecrow. Besides yeah, them, yeah, we've we, already we know seen how that. Good they we are. know that we definitely yeah, want to make a trip we, up we there one day. Know how good they are. If we do make a trip up there one day soon, one of our adventures, more video there. Yeah, as, much, we, as long as we exactly. can get away with it, and as much would, as we can pose, and we will talk about it. We yeah. will tell you guys all about it, all about our experience. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it'll be one for the books. Now, what was your? Yeah, it might be hard to remember, but what was your first, or one of your first VHS horror films that you actually rented? Now, one people, of your first batch, or one you were excited to get. People, you might not remember the first. People ask me that a lot. Yeah. Like, I get asked, what's the scariest movie you've seen? What's the first horror movie you ever watched? What's the first movie you've went to? Honestly, I was doing that as long as I can remember. Yeah. Like, my first memories consist of going to the video store. I'm sure my mom probably had me in a stroller, uh, you know, through the video stores when they were relatively new at the time. Yeah. Um, you know... I honestly don't remember. Uh, I remember I did uh, rent the first Child's Play. Um, oh, good you know, choice, good choice. It was still relatively new at the time. Like you know, just a few good years, uh, maybe. Good. I remember watching that. Um, it really wasn't one of the first ones. I'd seen so many before that already, but uh, I just can't... I, I'm not really sure. I remember seeing a movie called The Cellar, uh, which is not really... It was kind of little known. It actually kind of scared me a little bit. I watched it at a Halloween party. We were into that. Um, yeah. And I was always... Have seen Friday the 13th Part 6 play at one? Oh, God. Nice. <laughs> yeah. What the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, oh, gosh. Yeah, video stores were just... Oh, man. This is something else. What can I say, you know, that we haven't already said? It was just yeah. nostalgic. It was magical. It was fun. Yes. It was adventure. And today, kids, like, everything's on the internet. It's going, you know... It's nice to be able to go to Amazon from the country of your own home, home and order stuff and... I guess I feel like people are getting less involved, like hands on. Technology stuff. is yeah. just taking over. Exactly. It, and I can see where it would benefit a lot of people. Yes, it has. It's convenient. But yes. it's so soulless. It's soulless and it's it's lax. It takes the adventure it's more soulless of life. Than Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, pretty, that's bad. pretty bad. Yeah. It's like it's just you know, God forbid, after you go out and interact with other people. Oh yeah. Um, you know. Or how about a snowy like night? Socialize from school. Oh, or even if you don't you even have a job, you have a job, or you do have a job, you're off work. A snowy night, no one is going to snow, and you run a stack of films. Oh, Even if they're old films, they can mm. do that in five days. That's a so, fun thing. Oh, brother, pick out six movies, use yes. it six to eight. And that's what I did the Friday 13th. See, like horror films like we did, yeah. you go rent a bunch of them, that's just a good feeling. It's just not the same saying, well, I already have them on my Netflix, or they might even have it's them. It's not the or same. Or we get a red box. It's and definitely, yeah, it's especially not, not red box. the same. But for those of you who do it, oh, yeah. they each their own, that's, that's fine. I respect you. Everyone watch the first Friday 13th on TV. And then I said, what are they going to do next? Is Jason going to come out of the water and he's going to be like a no. zombie child? What's he going to be? I knew that he eventually became the hockey mask, hulking, <laughs> juggernaut, uh, unstoppable, zombie-like right. killer. And so I had, I rented two, three, four, oh, let's see, two, three, four, and five, all in a big stack of the video store. I binge-watched them, watched them all back to back. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, the feeling I got, I can still almost feel it. Like, it was just like, yeah. it was just wonderful. And like, I just can't, there's not very many things that compare to that. It really isn't. Um, I mean, luckily, yeah, as I said, there is one still in my town, a video store. I hardly ever go there. Sometimes I'm looking yeah. for a movie to buy. Sometimes they have good prices, but I'm glad it's there, but it's really not the same. It's cool that I can say there is a video rental store still, but probably by the time my kids are, like, teenagers, like, years and years from now, like, uh, you know, they're they're going to be long gone, and, like, they're not even going to know what it is. Much like a, um, a phone, you know, like an old... Rotary phone. This is from 1985, by the way. I know it's VHS. And DVD's cool, too. But VHS, 31 years old. Still fine. It feels more authentic way. in a few oh, ways. Yeah. Like, it just feels more, like, 
But yeah, as I said, I did hate when the, the VCR would eat the tapes. I think that's when it was time to get a new VCR. How about this big box of barrels, huh? <laughs> they were a great video. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, wow. Very good. Yeah, and uh, as soon as you finish this video, go on to Errol's video and read some uh read some video movies, world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Video Vault and Video Quest. And for I will say this. For those of you who have VHS tapes that they do not want, email us. Yeah, send them email to us. us. We'll take them. We'll take your movies. <laughs> yeah, we'll be good. Uh, we'll be good well, Samaritans. Don't send us woo or wood, but you know, yeah, send us yeah. something. Don't you know? send don't us send woo. nothing too new. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You get some horror films or anything? Yeah, you send them to us. In fact, I think they were films. making VHSs like as late as yeah. like maybe the mid two thousands. Like sometimes I'm surprised. That. Sometimes yeah, I'm Freddy surprised. Freddy vs. Jason was the yeah, last that was one. Yeah, those 2003. I saw. Yeah, that was actually surprising. Uh, I remember thinking yeah. I saw Scary Movie two on VHS once, and like yeah. a few others. It's weird seeing those movies because yes. like I consider them just like part of you know when DVD took over. I remember DVD took over being disappointed, <laughs> and you know I, I'm I'm glad I'm proud of my DVD collection, but. Oh, when I think of those VHSs in that store. But there is somebody out there that's even more of a fan than us. My, my Uncle Thurl Preston, you know what he did? He actually will not even rent a DVD. He only I can cut off that. when VHSs were around. He won't watch anything since, unless they record the DVD onto a VHS tape. Oh, wow. Yeah, he really likes it. I can definitely yes. see that. Yeah, he, I can he understand. really is a fan. I don't really go yeah. that far, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't either. I can, I can yeah. certainly respect. I, like I can certainly movie. admire that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DVDs are better in a lot of yes. ways, but as I said, yeah. you know, VHSs are something, and video stores most of all. That was oh, that yeah. was the big, that was the best part. Really, it was just going in the video store, looking at the covers, reading yes. the back, just you know, uh, talking to the cashier yeah. about it, you know, asking questions. Maybe actually other people in the store, you know, oh, it's just, yes. it's just me. Now, you really don't know what you're going to get. Like, it's just, how do you even watch a movie? If you miss a movie in the theaters, and you didn't get to see it in the theater, what do you do? You go buy it? I get it from Redbox, I guess. I'm never going to do that. I've never used a Redbox in my life. I, I, will, I will say this, for those of you who have a point on this. Yes, back then, the prices were a little steep. Yeah, the yeah. 80s, the prices. That, I miss the 80s. That's terribly, one of the things I don't miss. I don't miss that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, I just bought E.T. for $120. Yeah, but you own that movie. You have it. No, you can watch it any time. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a second job to pay for my it. First <laughs> one I, my first one I owned, my mother bought for me the Goonies on VHS wow. for eighty nine ninety nine. I wish I could remember my first yeah. I know I had a lot of the Disney mm -hmm. cartoons on VHS. This is some of the first ones I, I really wish say, I could remember. There's only one I had for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, watched the crap out of it. The first one I bought when I was a kid, you know, I was getting into the Godzilla movies. Oh, like, that was one of the first one of my first yeah. obsessions. It was probably like a lot of those my first one I bought myself. It wasn't just, you know, given um, I don't want to say that was the first though. Yeah, you know, I honestly don't remember I'm sorry, I apologize, but all right, well, we're reaching the 23-minute mark, so I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. But it was yes. good to have Dark Wolf back on the show Thank you. Again. Very nice having me. And we're thinking about starting our own show, the two of us. We're thinking about different names, like Graveyard Discussions or, or something like that. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let us know. But I'm Hellhounds. I am, and I'm Dark Wolf. And this room is 1985 Redux. Yes, damn so, right. Yes. We both are stuck mm -hmm. in the 80s. Yes. And, uh... I even have, by the way, one last thing. We intend to keep it that way. Oh, there we go. I've got one of these as well. My rotary phone. <laughs> yeah. In my next video, I'll actually show you one that had the, you know, the original, um, the rotary, the dial. Well, the I got it. What, gonna, what do you call it? Well, hey, nine o'clock. We're gonna watch Reagan speaks. So okay, cool. Don't forget that. Let's go see Ghostbusters I two wish. at the theater. Let's go see Ghostbusters two. Two. One's coming out this summer in July. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I wish yeah, it was 1984. Right. I wish it was. Yeah, too. I wish it was. The Friday the uh, 13th, the final chapter. Which we did see. Oh, we actually I did see that in hell, theater. But we saw we it did see theater. that in theater. I mentioned that in one of my videos mm -hmm. before. I think Time it was my machine. Friday 13th review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah. That uh, was nice. That was we nice. got together with Doc Brown. And we saw the Goonies <laughs> as well in the theater. We did. We did, actually. We did. I saw it three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was nice. It was nice. Yeah. Hi, guys. Well, uh,. Thanks for having me. And uh, video stores will live on forever, at least in our minds, yes, in our hearts. A big part of my childhood, and it shaped me into the person I am today. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but until next I'm time. I'm obsessed with them. I seem perfectly fine. Have a nice day. <laughs> Later.